In this video, we're gonna fine tune 5 Super 5 Vision using Swift. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. So I've already gone through what Fine 3.5 Vision is in my previous videos, but essentially a few weeks ago, Fi or Microsoft released three different models. One is Fi 3.5 Mini, almost four billion parameters, which is a text model, another text model over here. And they also released a Fi 3.5 Vision. Now, why do you typically fine tune a vision model or why should we fine tune a Fi 3.5 model? Well, aside from being a relatively small model, Fine tuning a model like this can enhance the domain specific accuracy and relevance. So the model knows your domain, which will lead to improved performance on various custom tasks you tell them all to do. And it will have a high chance of adapting to your own unique data and your own requirement to get the most out of that model. Now, how should you fine tune? Now, there are different ways to fine tune a vision model. Three of the more common ways are image OCR. So you pass in an image and you do optical character recognition. You can do image description. Tell the model to describe an image. That's also fine tuning you can do. And then you have video fine tuning. Some other technical specifications are it's around 4.2 billion parameters, can do visual processing, including videos, can take or handle both text and image, and it is most likely multilingual because previous 5.3 models were multilingual and this was a slight upgrade from those. So it's most likely multilingual as well, but I cannot really say with 100% certainty. Now, let's get on with the fine tuning. This video will be broken down into three main sections. We're gonna install our packages, fine tune our model, and we can make inferences using VLLMs. Now, for when it comes to the packages, we're gonna clone the Swift package and install a Hugging Face transformers. And then we're gonna install Flash Attention and install the packages that is inside of Swift. Now, after we've done that, we're going to pass in our dataset and do our fine tuning. Now, before that, here is an example of how the dataset should look like when you are fine tuning a dataset. If you guys want to learn more about how the data set should be formatted, I posted a link in the Colab notebook where you guys can see various examples of formats you guys can have for your multimodal fine tuning models or any other fine tuning models that they presented over here. Now, if we go back to the fine tuning, we're gonna first fine tune using Python. So let's do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use or import OS and pass in our GPU. By the way, please ignore this specific command over here. This is for exporting the model once we've fine-tuned it. We're gonna to come to that very, very soon. We're gonna import Torch and then import various Swift packages that we're gonna to use to fine-tune. And let's load that. Now, if we define the model type, which would be used to train a model. So we're gonna do model type .5, vision instruct. This will essentially help download all the configs necessary for training our model. And after that, we're going to set up our training arguments. This is the SFT arguments, essentially meaning supervised fine tuning. So model type equals to model type that we've defined. We're gonna pass in our dataset. We're going to be using a dataset named Coco N Mini, and we're gonna pass in 100 over here to only use 100 samples to make this tutorial quick. So let's load that. And now we're gonna set it to training. Now, for some reason, this training takes extra time when using the Colab notebook. By the way, I am using an A100 GPU if in case you guys are wondering. And that is because downloading the model takes a surprisingly long time, takes around like 25 minutes or something. So you guys may want to have some patience while doing this. By the way, I just want to quickly mention that in the description, there is a link for AI consulting. This is a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me where you get a book a call discussing your personal projects or if you're a company trying to build a proof of concept, you can just grab a time over here and we can talk about it. I can help with ideation and planning, feasibility assessment, and at the end of the call, we can get a report detailing the different steps you could potentially take to improve or make your system. So please free check it out. Okay, so the model has been trained. By the way, the actual downloading of the model took more than an hour, believe it or not. But the actual training just took a few seconds. That's because we only used around 100 samples to train or fine tune our model. Now, what we're going to do, we have trained our model. We have small shards of our actual model that is fine-tuned. Now what we have to do is export it as a whole model. Now this, uh, this is the small parts of the model that got saved over here in this specific directory. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have this specific command that's gonna write Swift export to this specific directory over here. So I'm gonna copy the path over here and replace it just like so. And then you write merge Laura true, save serialization false, and then you press run. Now what this is going to do, is going to create another directory over here with all the different model and configs 
in the same place that we can use to deploy our model using VLLMs. Now, as you can see, we got another directory over here. We got some for or some error codes over here, which we can ignore for the moment. So that is that. Now, before I go to the inference side of things, I want to show you guys how you can fine tune using a single CLI command. So you can just do Swift SFT, supervised fine tuning, pass in the model and the data set you want to train with the number of data set you want to use. And then you could also pass in some other parameters such as where you want to save it, some other information. And there are various parameters that you can use to fine tune it with. I will also leave a link to different parameters you can use over here where you can play around with different settings and see if it improves your model or not. Now, I'm not going to run this, but these are the logs you typically get once you train the model, exactly the same logs as you would get when fine tuning in this fashion. But nevertheless, you have that option. Now, how about inferencing? Now, this is where things get a bit or things got a bit problematic for me. So you can install VLLMs, do everything over here. You clear the Torch CUDA to deload all the different models you may have in your GPU. And then you import Swift LLM, get the VLLM engine. You pass in the model path, which is this specific merged path that you typically have after saving the model. And then you pass it in to the LLM using the Swift wrapper, and then you can do various inferences on it. Now, so far the code actually ran. I can run this right now if you guys want to, but at the end, I actually got memory out of, or I didn't have enough memory to run the actual model. And I'm not exactly sure why, because if I'm able to make, if I'm able to train the model with this specific GPU, by the way, I'm using a A100 GPU with 40 gigabytes of VRAM. I don't see why I cannot make inference on it. And I'm not really understanding how to do it right now. But nevertheless, if you guys have a slightly more beefier GPU, around 6 gigabytes or something, you should be able to run it run this with no problem. But nevertheless, I'm more than certain that this code actually works because I've used it, but it doesn't work because I don't have enough GPU. All right, guys. So that is a quick video on how to fine tune 5315 Vision as a lot of people requested it. I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar concise machine learning videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.